Hey guys, good morning. Today's topic of discussion is Wi-Fi six. So these are the contents. First of all, we will look into the introduction part. Then, what is uh, Wi-Fi six? Why Wi-Fi six came into picture? Then. Uh, Going to handle multi-user performance part. What is MU MIMO? What is this target wake time? IoT handling. What are the advantages of Wi-Fi six? And finally, some of the examples of Wi-Fi six. So. as we know that uh, as the demand for this wireless access from users got shifted from a nice to have a necessity what i mean to say that earlier this wireless technology if you are having it was nice but in the modern days nowadays it's a necessity for everybody due to this reason network performance has become a business critical requirement you can understand right so both the workers and uh, consumers have come to expect a reliable wifi connection to accommodate this growing number of mobile and uh, iot devices we have to improve the efficiency of the wireless network so how it handles the congestion and uh, the increasing capacity demands has become the key factors of success so as the demand grows day by day from uh, number of uh, consumers workers whatever we are looking around so the necessity for this is the key factor of success day by day this growth and uh, diversity of clients as well as the types of applications and traffic being generated meant wireless standards needed to evolve to keep space keep pace latency sensitive voice and video traffic are sharing air space with the existing uh, iot devices that are sending small data packets so by that what will happen which will uh, slow down a wireless network so in order to solve this problem wireless networks need to provide a more efficient way to handle this growing and diverse amount of traffic as well as uh, bandwidth needs so for that a new standard is needed the ieee that is institute of electrical and electronics engineers and uh, wifi alliance they work together to identify what are the areas of uh, improvement we can do to the existing wireless standard that is 802.11 ac and the conclusion was to focus on the performance under some of the typical conditions which raise the performance of the whole network so you can say this is a departure from the previous model where the focus was to look at advanced peak data needs under the perfect conditions in the earlier standard that is 802.11 ac the basic focus was to how to achieve the advanced peak data rate 
So a new standard that is called 802.11x which was published in the early 2018 and was recently renamed as Wi-Fi 6 by the Wi-Fi Act. So this is the new naming convention instead of 802.11x going forward we will call it as uh, Wi-Fi 6. This is the new naming convention as for the Wi-Fi lines. So what is Wi-Fi 6? So if you look at it, one of the main focus is to enhance the efficiency of access points, how it can handle devices simultaneously. It's no longer about comparing Wi-Fi speeds but it's more about the capacity of the network to provide the optimal throughput for all the clients. So earlier we, will, we were focusing upon the peak data rates but in this Wi-Fi 6 what we are trying to do we have to enhance capacity of the network which can provide the optimal throughput for all the clients. So if you look at this picture there are four lanes number one, two, three and four. Okay. So here the vehicles are following in a particular lane, this lane. So that nobody is dependent upon each other everybody is following their own path so one has to not wait for the other person everybody is walking independently that's the beauty of uh, this Wi-Fi 6 okay uh, we will discuss in further slides so the the latest standard addresses today's uh, this biggest Wi-Fi challenges which is nothing but the performance and the increasing density of devices as well as the diversity of applications. So to handle these challenges, this 802.11x that is Wi-Fi 6 increase the throughput capacity by up to four times which was there for AC. So the additional improvements include in this Wi-Fi 6 it can use both the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz bands. So if you look at the AC stuff it was only working on 5 gigahertz but this is the beauty of uh, Wi-Fi 6 that it's going to use both the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz as well. So this is the pictorial representation in the AC you just consider is the 1x speed. So in AX they try to achieve 4x. Okay. It's a very nice speed. Coming to this multi-user performance, the most important new feature in the Wi-Fi 6 standard is an enhanced multi-user feature called OFDMA. That is nothing but orthogonal frequency division multiple access. So this is a new technique they have introduced in OFDMA called OFDMA. Okay. So here what will happen multiple devices with varying bandwidth needs can be solved simultaneously. So you have to concentrate simultaneously. Instead of the existing model where devices compete with one another to send data. In the earlier things what, what was happening first of all 
we have to mean uh, win the medium then only we can access the we can send the data but here the beauty of Wi-Fi 6 is it has to be served simultaneously at a time it can be served so with this 802.11x there is no contention at all as each device is simultaneously simultaneously scheduled to transmit data in parallel so suppose to a particular ap six stations are connected in the earlier days what was happening so someone has to wait if the medium was busy but here in this Wi-Fi 6 everybody can send data simultaneously in parallel so handling data packets in this way obviously improve the performance so as a larger number of packets can be transmitted simultaneously so here you can see some of the typical features of Wi-Fi 6 it is uh, represented uh, pictorially so first of all it can send and receive traffic simultaneously uplink and downlink both, both will work together okay. at a time multiple devices can transmit and receive the signals okay. transmit the data and moreover it will work on a single channel okay and at the same time so these are the main four features of this uh, Wi-Fi 6 so how it will happen on a single channel multiple devices can send and receive traffic at the same time that is the bottom line they are the main multi-user performance things so this MU MIMO multi-user multi-input multi out multiple output this ME MIMO is another way to handle traffic from multiple devices that was originally introduced in 802.11 AC it was there already so within this 802.11 X this feature has been enhanced by allowing up to 8 devices to transmit simultaneously using a dedicated channel per device so earlier also it was there for 8 devices and MU MIMO but here what they did they can transmit the data simultaneously and for a dedicated channel per device so this allows the larger packets such as when we are streaming some SD video so it has to be handled more efficiently okay so while shorter packets from IoT devices and voice traffic would be better handled using OFDMA okay. so if you look at here in the earlier technology you mean I mean to say that this you can say is 802.11 AC that is Wi-Fi 5 all the all the cards are coming from the some 8 lanes and finally they have to go through a single lane okay but here what they did is for all the 8 lanes they dedicatedly separate the lanes okay so that all the cards can go at a time they are not dependent to each other so the performance will increase here obviously the performance is going to decrease but here the performance is going to increase this picture is 802.11 AC that is Wi-Fi 5 whereas this is Wi-Fi 6 target wait time what is target wait time so device contention and the battery life of the clients is announced by a feature called target wait time in short 
we can tell it as TWT. So the, uh, this is another feature they have uh, added in Wi-Fi 6. So this TWT, what it will do, which lets device remain inactive until it's day turn to transmit the data using a scheduling scheme negotiated with the APIs. Until unless your turn will come, you will be in inactive mode. When your turn will come, you will wake up and you will transmit the data. So that the because of this, devices can go into an inactive mode and the battery life of uh, smartphones, tablets and the IoT devices is an underlying profit benefit you can say. Okay. So we can take an example of uh, parking a vehicle in the waiting area rather than circling the airport for arrivals. By this there is less congestion, energy saving and and overall better experience. IoT handling. IoT handling is also enhanced with an operating mode for low power, low bandwidth devices like uh, sensors, automation and medical devices. So this mode will separate these devices from AXAP using a 20 MHz only channel that works in either 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz bands. Similarly, to providing a dedicated bike lane but without the worry of low bandwidth traffic interfering with latency sensitive traffic. So in summary line we can say that the efficiency improvements in 802.11x amount to a faster performing network and enhanced user experience for all the clients on the network. So here couple of uh, advantages of this Wi-Fi 6 have noted down. Depending on the devices and the applications being used, 20 or more devices may be considered as high density. So the types of devices and the applications being used, especially you can say video and the responsiveness of applications over the current 802.11n or 802.11ac deployments. And finally, the number of IoT devices that are visible and those are not. So in the past, video traffic was primarily wireless downlink traffic. You can, you can know that, right? You know this. But social, telemedicine and uh, e-learning applications are now generating enormous uplink traffic. So, the biggest streaming video required low latency. Wi-Fi 6 must ensure that users are not seeing the buffering message or worse, as it better utilized both the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz Wi-Fi spectrums. Okay. So, couple of examples I have cited over here for 802.11x that is Wi-Fi 6. In smart office spaces and manufacturing where 2.4 GHz IoT devices will exist and uh, authentication security is a concern. Okay. So healthcare environments where uh, existing medical devices will remain 2.4 GHz capable for the unforeseeable feature, future. It's not going to change because uh, 
this Wi-Fi 6 is going to use both the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. Environments like schools and technology organizations where mobility, voice, video, traffic is more prevalent, they can use this 802.11x, I mean Wi-Fi 6. Thanks guys for watching this video. So this is an introduction to 802.11x that is Wi-Fi 6. There is a lot more to know there from topics. Uh, if I will get a chance I will come up with uh, new topics regarding this how this uh, target wait time going to work and uh, how all the things are happening, how the OFDMA will work. Okay, uh, we will have a look in the next slides. Thank you. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, you can always welcome. Thanks. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.